Hello everyone, welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we will be detailing about the job opportunities in the year 2024. As we all know, we are just 15 days away from entering into a new year. So let's look into the details how the new year 2024 will be looking up. And we will also be discussing about the various job opportunities that are going to come. What kind of skill sets would be in demand in the next year apart from that many of the people are telling that still they have not re started receiving the calls the calls for testers are really low if someone is getting a offer letter they are not getting joining letter so what will be the cons consequences do will we be re seeing this repeat pattern repeated in 2024 or not so let's look into the details but before that if you are watching this video for the very first time then please do hit like, share and subscribe our channel. Not only that, but we are also conducting mock interviews, which are absolutely free of cost for the people who would like to know how much knowledge they have. So for that, you can share your CV at rdautomationlearning at the rate of gmail.com. The interviews would be free of cost. You won't be charged anything, but you need to have a good Wi-Fi internet connection so we can record these interviews and it would be uploaded on our YouTube channel, right? Apart from that, recently, because of your immense uh, love and support, we have got a join button, which has been enabled from the uh, YouTube channels and in which if we keep some uh, amount, monthly amount to be paid by the subscribers, then uh, we'll be getting an opportunity to get some kind of revenue, some kind of more monetization settings into this channel. But we have kept that button as disabled because we want this content to be, you know, widely used free of cost for everyone, right? So please do hit like button before we proceed into the video because these videos do take a lot of time, right? And you won't believe right now it's almost 11 30 pm right and this video will be coming up tomorrow to you right so now let's look into this video so there has been the survey that has been carried out and this detail has been published in economic times 37 percent of employers are planning to increase staff strength by 2024 year right so that's a great update now many of the people who you know who are not having that positive mindset they'll feel sir you are telling 37 percent what about next 63 percent so we'll be seeing that also so another 15 to 20 percent are also anticipating growth so once they will get growth definitely they'll also come into the market so don't worry about rest of the percentage think how you can get selected into this 37 percent right now what would be the trends so definitely look looking at these all trends it seems 2024 would be a good opportunities, would be a year full of opportunities for job seekers and for IT professionals. Now, IT spending growth, right? So according to Gartner's projections, right? So what is Gartner? So they are actually one of the leading firm who are doing time-to-time -time analysis and they will provide you a kind of a survey, kind of a report that, okay, this is the upward trend, this is the downward, downward trend, right? So you can rely on these people. The Indian IT sector is set to experience an impressive 8% spending growth in 2024, right? So this will be the hoping amount that they will be reaching out, right? So compared to 3.5% in 2023, it will be nearly about 8%, right? So this looks good. Apart from that, tech or adoption and innovation. So there will be a lot of opportunities pertaining to artificial intelligence, machine learning, cloud computing, cybersecurity, right? In reshaping industry. So a lot of good opportunities are coming on the way, right? But then it is very important that people should know how to use these kind of AI tools, right? Definitely they are not going to replace testers they will not be replacing the software developers but how to ensure that you are fully using such kind of tools to make yourself productive is altogether a different thing right so you should use all these tools you should use all these technologies as a ladder to reach into your career to the next level right then skills in demand beyond the basics 
So while traditional IT skills retain their importance, so definitely the traditional IT skills we know for development testing, the things those are important, the automation testing, API testing, definitely they are important. Apart from that, AI, ML, blockchain, cybersecurity will be playing a vital role, right? So industry is planning to hire approximately 1 million skilled professionals, right? So this is a, again a high, high number that has been taken based on the analysis of those 37% of employers, right? Many more jobs would be coming up in the 2024 year, right? And as we know, in 2023, there was a slowdown, right? The calls were not coming. The hiring were getting freeze. We were seeing many of the employers who, you know, some big shots, some big names who have done layoffs like Amazon, they did layoff. Then Google, Meta, they did layoff. Alphabet, they did layoff. Netflix, again, joined the same lane. Despite that, you know, there has been a slowdown in 2023, but overall job market remains positive for 2024. And anyone who is looking to switch from non-IT to IT, then these skills will be in demand. Cloud computing, cybersecurity, AIML, opening doors, right? Sorry, so AIML, these will be opening doors for all those who are ready to take, get the job opportunity, right? So the job opportunities for 2024 are too many, right? Apart from that, if you will see if someone is regularly using LinkedIn, right? So there has been a sudden increase in the testing jobs also. Not for freshers, but for experienced. If someone is having three years of experience now, there are a lot of opportunities that you can see on LinkedIn. Two months back, when we were recording videos on market update, job update, recessions, IT hiring, hiring freeze. So we got to know that five plus or seven plus years of experience are having some kind of job opportunities. But now even three plus years of people are having job opportunities. So job opportunities are again in both the phases. One which is completely remote, one which is work from office. So a lot of good opportunities are coming, right? So don't demotivate yourself. Start reading, start doing revision of all the concepts related to software testing and do like, share and subscribe our channel because we will be covering and we have already covered many videos on testing interview questions, right? So as a learner, what you should do is whenever I am asking question in a mock interview, so pause that video, try to answer it by yourself and then you can resume the video. Then you can see what is the other person saying and how we are correcting them, right? So this is how the learning should take place. And recently, if you will see the recent videos, we have started on core Java mock interviews also. SQL related questions. So if anyone is interested, then they can share your CV at rdautomationlearning at the rate of gmail.com. Right, so this is the email address and put in the subject line mock interview and uh, if you are available on this um, Monday, Tuesday, then we can connect for mock interviews, right? So please drop an email right now and let us know if you are available for the mock interview with a good internet Wi-Fi connection, of course, right? And the time availability of 30 minutes, right? So that's it for this video. And thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates.